Ladies and gentlemen, film enthusiasts and fans of Bollywood, gather around as we embark on a journey through time, celebrating a cinematic masterpiece that has not only captured our hearts, but has also become an integral part of Indian film history. In its momentous occasion as we mark the 25th anniversary of the iconic film Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. In the colourful tapestry of Bollywood, certain films stand out like shimmering gems, defining an era, and settling new standards for storytelling and entertainment. Released on October 16, 1998, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, directed by the incredibly talented Karan Johar, emerged as a cultural phenomenon, weaving its magic into the lives of millions around the world. With its unforgettable characters, soul-stirring music and a storyline that tugged at the heartstrings, this film became an instant classic and continues to be cherished by generations. As we commemorate the Silver Jubilee, we reflect not only the incredible cinematic journey of Rahul, Anjali and Tina, but also on the impact this film has had on Indian cinema. In this video, we are going to go through the top 10 facts of Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. Not only this video will test your knowledge, but you may also learn something new. But before we dig in, please share your support by liking and subscribing to our channel for more content. Number 1 In the early stages of casting for his debut film, Goran Johar's initial choices for the roles of Rahul and Anjali were Shah Rukh Khan and Kajol. Interestingly, this choice stemmed from a promise made years earlier when Goran served as an assistant director on the iconic film The Wale Dohaniya Le Jayenge. During that time, both SRK and Kajol had pledged to be part of Goran's first directorial venture. Number 2. Originally, the character of Dina was conceived with Dunkel Khanna in mind. In fact, the character was named after her. However, when she turned down the role, it was offered to several leading actresses, including Gajal, before eventually being cast with Rani Mukherjee. Number 3. Sana Saheed, the young actress who portrayed Little Anjali, opted not to use glycerine for the emotional scenes that demanded tears. In response, Goran, the director, employed a unique method to elicit genuine emotions from her. He deliberately acted stern and mean towards her, provoking real tears during the filming of those scenes. Number 4. Goran preferred to have Rani Mukherjee's voice dubbed in the film due to her distinctive husky tone. Number 5. The iconic sari flying shot in the Lurgi Bari Anjani Hai song initially began as a playful joke between Farah Khan and Goran Johar. Interestingly, Gajo upon hearing the idea initially found it somewhat silly. Number 6. Upon his initial viewing of the film, SLK didn't find the ending enjoyable due to the abundance of emotional scenes, particularly the extensive crying sequences. Number 7. Initially, the character of Aman was proposed to Saif Ali Khan, who declined the role. Later, at a party hosted by Junki Bandi, Salman Khan approached Goran Johar and volunteered to step into the part that Saif had turned down. Number 8. Barzan Daso, who portrayed the young Sadar boy on screen, did not dub his solitary line in the movie. To see Jara Hehu, to see Najal. Instead, another child artist named Gavelia Jadda provided the voice for this dialogue. Number 9. In various scenes of the film, you can spot designer Manish Malhotra, Farah Khan, choreographer Geeta Kapoor, director Nikhil Advani, and even Goran Johar's mother, Hira Johar, making cameo appearances. Number 10. Gaja was hesitant to film the endearing laughter scene in Lalki Badi and Jani Hai because she felt it was overly dramatic. Are there any other interesting facts about Kuch Kuch Hota Hai that we've missed out? Please let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching Bollywood Smash!